Alright, it's the day after Christmas and I just got my uh, mast finished for the uh, the HF antenna, which is currently strung on a tree. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, basically, what I'm using here is 20 feet of fence rail capped off with about maybe an additional 6 feet of one and a quarter inch PVC. Now, I've got my ring up there on the end to hold the uh, paracord to raise and lower it. It's going to walk down here. Um, that mark there is about where the metal ends. Got some screws in there. To make it more rigid in the middle, um, I used another piece of one and a quarter inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC right where the two joined together. Bolted them in there because uh, it had a lot of wobble before I did that. And I'll see if we can give you a full length view. So I'm looking at about maybe 26 feet total when this is done. And I was going to use this uh, PVC as kind of an end cap, but I found out it fits over the pipe instead of uh, on the ferrule or the junction, whatever you call it. Um, so I just used it to slide right over um, some scrap bolts I had around here. Um, whole shebang here, you're looking at about 50 bucks at Lowe's. Um, the fence pipe or the fence top rail is about 10 bucks a section. I think I spent four bucks on the PVC. And then I had um, another piece over here we're going to walk over to now. All right, this is what we're going to be dropping that pole into. Uh, this is a seven foot long uh, piece of uh, chain link fence pipe, uh, about 15 bucks at Lowe's. Uh, it's about four feet into the ground, concreted in. Um, I used a uh, four inch auger to dig the hole so there's not a lot of sway in there. Um, so hopefully that'll hold it up. Um, my current setup, I'm not sure if it's going to show or not. Probably not. But you may see a little white ballon up there in the tree. And uh, it is running all the way down to a post way down there. And unfortunately the other side had to go back in a V-shape, uh, which I'm sure you can't see either. I uh, had to go back in a V-shape because um, I didn't have enough room going that way until I hit the telephone pole. So moving this over about 20 feet should resolve that. And uh, there is the original antenna. Um, I did add some security cameras on top of there just because I had some extra security cameras and what the hell. But um, that's my HF antenna, sorry, my VHF UHF antenna. Um, still holding up fine. And might as well walk down and show you the red net grounding that I did here. So, we have our ground rod pounded in, got a couple of lightning arresters there. Um, that uh, copper, I don't know if you can see it or not, is uh, coming from my, uh, my little table there where I have my radios. I have a uh, grounding block from Lowe's. Um, screwed into there so all the equipment is grounded together and then it uh, comes onto that copper wire which goes out to the ground rod as well. Um, that's my... You know, pretty much know what everything else is because it's just coax and shit. So I'm going to hoist this bad boy and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, that was a little bit more effort than I anticipated. Yeah, right, just want to show one thing I didn't mention. On the bottom of the pole, right near the ground, I do have a uh, bolt going through so the seven foot deep pipe doesn't suck up my entire mast. And she's pretty freaking tall. Let me get a better view here. All right, you might be able to see the uh, full height now, or you might not. Let me see if I can zoom in and focus on the. Uh... There we go. So 
she's pretty far up there. We got about 28 feet from ground to top, or about 25 feet maybe, give or take, who the hell knows. But it is planted. I'm probably gonna let me unzoom here. Probably gotta tighten this up a bit because it's not a perfect fit in there. Ain't like it's gonna go anywhere, but I might uh cram a little shim in there just to keep it from uh, wobbling. And it's uh definitely higher than what the old uh, ballast of uh, Balan was at, so Alright, that's a better angle here. So, there's the old antenna, or the uh, UHF an antenna, and we're easily 10 feet over that. And that's what this, uh, where are you? There you are. Yeah, so uh, that's what this uh, ballon will be hanging from. I'm gonna move her right on over to there. All right, I know that's, this is kind of a crappy video because uh, I only really filmed when I was taking a break from doing what I was actually doing today because um, it takes forever to do shit while you're filming it. Um, tomorrow I'll be um, driving a post into the ground behind me to uh, hold the 48 end, 40 foot end, and uh, the 80 foot end will just go uh, to the same post it's going to now, but we will have a straight line antenna instead of a tight V, which should hopefully help out a lot. <sighs> and uh, I think that's about it for now. Um, K4RZM, Eric, and um, you have yourself a good one, and hopefully we'll catch you on the air once I get this thing all set up tomorrow. Later.